In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of anything with, within your computer. For example, if you're on the desktop with nothing opened, you can take a screenshot of, I don't know why you would want to, but for example, if you wanted to just take a screenshot of your desktop, you could do that. Or for example, if you were in a, a website and you wanted to take a screenshot of uh, something, um, uh, you could do that. So for example, how you do that is um, on, on almost all keyboards, there's a print screen button. And um, to show you what that looks like, um, on on this uh, page here where I have images, on your keyboard, your print screen button would look something like this, uh, print screen, something like that, or you know, something like that. It's normally up here in this location, print screen. Um, print screen, yep. Yeah. Okay, so now that you know what it looks like, um, if you press that button, it's not going to do anything. Well, it's, it, it looks like it's not going to do anything, but really what it's going to do is it's just going to take a screenshot of, your, um, of whatever page you're on. So then, for example, if you go in to um, start, and if you type in paint, uh, so P-A-I-N-T, and click on it, now, if you're after pressing um, the, um, the print screen button, what you should do is click on paste right here, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have the print screen button on my keyboard. So if you don't have the print screen button on your keyboard or if you can't find it, what you should do is, I'll just minimize this for a second, if you come down here and if you type in keyboard, and here is on screen keyboard, Okay, and now um, I'm going to click on the print screen button right here. Okay, so that now has took a screenshot of right here. It just, uh, it, it probably took a screenshot of the keyboard itself, just all of this right here. So now I'll minimize this, um, just a second. Okay, and now I'm going to come into paint, which I had opened, and I'm going to click on paste. And there we go, I'll make it full screen so you can see. It has took a screenshot of the desktop I was just on. So this is just an image now you're looking at. It's not the actual desktop. I can't click on anything or, or anything like that. So now, for example, if I wanted to, um, let's, for, let's say, Steam right here, this icon. If I wanted to, um, if, I, if I only wanted this icon and I didn't want everything else, then what I'll do is I'd come up here to Crop. I click on crop and I just come over this area like I want the icon let's say uh, let's say right here right okay so now I've highlighted that I've just moved um, I just held down on my mouse and I've just moved that over this theme icon so now I'm going to come up here again and click on crop and there we have it we just have this theme icon so now if I click file or no I I come up here and I click this and then I come down to save as and then I'm going to come over to JPEG JPEG picture I click on that now I'm going to click on desktop because that's where I want to save it for convenience but you can save it wherever you'd like for example if you uh, you could save it in uh, where is it documents you could save it there that's a good place to save to or else yep so desktop okay I'm going to name the file um, let's see, uh, Steam, Steam, um, Picture, okay, and I click Save, okay, so now I can exit this, and there it is, there's the Steam Picture that I just uh, cropped, and that's, um, yep, so that's how you print screen, and how you crop an image. So I no longer need this image, I can just move it to recycle bin. Okay, see you next time.